what is on the line tonight for Zanisa Estrada, but she'll be facing off against Annabelle Ortiz, who is the best in the world at the minimum weight. She's 34 years old, six years older than Sinisa, but Estrada will enjoy a two and a half height advantage and a slight reach advantage as well. Scheduled for two minute rounds, 10 of them here tonight. The last time we saw Estrada fight, she knocked her opponent out in seven seconds. That will not happen here today as we've already passed that mark. Nice and relaxed, Denise Estrada. That was a nice combination, yeah, staying yeah. relaxed. Nice. <laughs> hey. Annabelle Ortiz, the champion, said she got into boxing because she lived through a lot of domestic violence, wanted to learn it in order to one day defend her mother. She said that moment came, and that's what inspired her. Now she loves being able to let it all out in the ring. Oh, big left hand connected on the champ. Nice left hook again for Sinisa Estrada. And this is what makes Estrada so special. She's not only relentless, but she has that speed to back it up. Speed and power. When asked at the press conference what fighting for a world title meant to her, Sinisa Estrada said, don't make me cry. That's how much emotion she's a carry in the ring. And that left hook nearly put Annabelle Ortiz on the ring, but then she got caught. Counterpunch landed by the champ. That's what happens when you switch from orthodox to left-hander. You sometimes get caught in between styles. Sinisa needs to watch out for that. Everything was coming up roses for Sinisa, but here comes Ortiz now. Yes, yeah, so she forgot that Ortiz is the champion here, but Ortiz, you know, she can be relentless as well. Very experienced, smart counterpuncher is Annabelle Ortiz. But Ortiz lacks in, in timing. She makes she makes up in a in a in counter punching. How old was Sinisa Estrada when you first met? Oh, a straight right hand, and down goes the champion. What a shot from Superman! Big right hand. Ortiz trying to time that check hook, but he got there too late. Big trouble in the minimum weight division for Annabelle Ortiz. I noticed how Sinisa came back with foot feints and not just overhead right to left. Anytime Annabelle Ortiz gets wild, Estrada takes advantage. And here we're gonna see the clean right hand landed by Sinisa Estrada. Actually, it was the left hook, but the knockdown was a straight right hand. Annabelle Ortiz tried to catch her with that check hook. There it is right there, right on the money. Sinisa Estrada caught her, but credit to Ortiz, got up and fought back. What do, you, what do you think so far, Chris? Well, it's a complete shutout for Sinisa Estrada, who has dominated most of this fight. Second round, there was a decent flurry from Ortiz, but for the most part, the pressure has been applied beautifully by Estrada. The power shots are landing effectively by Estrada. She just has real power in both those hands. Dean Campos, uh, as far as wants her to not, not okay. be so aggressive now, to, to throw away a couple punches with the one-two and try to catch her with the check hook coming out. Yeah, I think if there's anything you could say, Sergio, is that she is smothering her punches a little bit on the inside. That's probably the only critique so far. But she keeps that distance and lands on the end. Stuff like this happens. You saw the right hand that started this trouble for the champ, Annabelle Ortiz, in the corner. Who Sergio continues to hit after the bell and after the referees are trying to break him apart. Maybe getting a little desperate is Annabelle. La Avispa. They want more jabs than overhand rights from the champ. But right now, it's hard for, for Annabelle Ortiz to keep up with the speed and the switchiness and style and stances of Denise Estrada. Down the left there for the champion. That's what Annabelle Ortiz has right now, like I said. But she lacks in speed, she makes up in timing, and right now she's timed with a good counterpunch right there on the inside. 
Combinations, but it starts with her feet. Fast feet make fast hands. And of course, she's always getting angles from southpaw to orthodox. The over under in this fight, eight and a half rounds. Sergio, which one would you pick right now? Right now, I like the over so far. I like the way Ortiz, the champ, has been handling the, the speed and explosiveness of Estrada. Estrada targeting the swollen eye on the champion, which continues to get worse and worse. In fact, both eyes are pretty banged up. It'd be a huge notch on Estrada's belt if she could become the second woman to stop the champion in Annabelle Ortiz. Time! Round seven, scheduled for 10 rounds. Chris, how do you have it scored through six? Six rounds to none in favor of Sinisa Estrada. One to eight round mixed in in second. I don't think Annabelle Ortiz is embarrassing herself by any stretch. She's just going up against a woman that has incredible power and incredible skills in Sinisa Estrada. Ortiz had perhaps her best round. In round six, but may not have been enough to win it on the cards, at least not on Chris Bannock's cards. So she needs a knockout, something she is not good at getting. She's had some moments, though, Todd, where she's rocked the a couple times, as we said, when she's caught the strata and switches. Just look at the difference in their faces. Estrada looks like she just entered the ring. Ortiz looked like she got in the ring a couple years ago. Estrada's definitely beautiful to watch in many ways, but she's explosive, she's fast, she's powerful, footwork. She is, as you said, right hand, right on the ear. She is, as you said earlier, Sergio, loading up on these shots. She's looking for that one punch. I think she'll be able to get have a better chance of getting Ortiz out of here if she just wants to throw the jab first and follow the combination. Estrada still throwing bombs. It looks so fresh. Yeah, but now she's throwing bombs to the body. That's actually the, the right thing to do. If she's trying to set up something big upstairs, set it up downstairs first, just like that. Sinisa Estrada is really the complete package. She's beautiful to watch, but it's the lack of jab, I think, that's, that's the only thing missing here tonight. The lack of jab that will set up the big punches that she's She's really uh, trying to catch her teeth with. Time! A near perfect opponent, a near perfect performance for Sinisa Estrada, who's still thinking about maybe putting the champ down. What? She thinks it was the final bell, turn around with her hands up. No, the referee thought it was. Either way, good fight. Sinisa, super bad Estrada. Surely made her dream come true here tonight. You're looking at the new WBA minimum weight world champion. Jeremiah Gallegos with the scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, here from Fort Worth, Texas, let's give our ladies a big round of applause. And now we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals. Judges Gary Ritter and Judge Jesse Reyes have the bout 100 to 89, and Judge Chris Migliore sees the bout 99 to 90. For your winner by unanimous decision, and the new WBA Women's Champion of the World at minimum weight. The party pride of East Los Angeles, California, Sonisa Superman. Hey!